This video discusses Epigee's call recording software. The Epigee IPPBX portfolio is, is covers most of the SMB and up to small enterprise customers. Now, in the in the past, I would have I would have said that a, a small enterprise install may have required some some more advanced features, and those are the kinds of features that we've added into this latest release. So I think a lot of folks here would be uh, excited to hear about some of these new additions. But you look at you know your small remote office, home office uh, situation, the Quadro 2X, up to 16 IP phones. As you move through, you'll see variations of analog to IP phone capacities, and then all the way at the bottom, you'll see um, the Quadro M32X, which is the larger product. Now that one has the compact flash slot, and that'll come into play with one of the features that I'm going to mention in just a just a moment. Um, so the call recording, uh, what's nice about this is I can store it either locally on the 32X, on that compact flash slot, uh, which we, we have up to 8 gigs running right now. I think there's 16 gig chips market, uh, on the market, but they're pretty pricey. 8 gig is the, the more realistic size. Um, what you can do is either store it locally or just um, move it off to a remote location, an FTP server, so you can just stockpile the the recordings on an external server. Um, if you choose to keep it only on the Quadro, it's just going to purge. You need to purge the old files and uh, keep the most recent. So depending upon what your customer is looking for, some customers want to record everything, keep it all cataloged. That's fine. Use an external server. If the customer is looking for, oh, I just want the last few days or a week's worth, depending upon their call volume, you could easily just use the 8 gig uh, compact flash chip. You can either have it record all calls or just uh, pick specific extensions for the recording. Um, you can also initiate an ad hoc call. Uh, so you can hit, like on a smartphone, phone, there's a record button. You can hit that, and it will start recording from that point forward. To an external server, uh, we have the method of using variables to identify the folder and file name. So it'll help you build a, a logical structure to store all the recordings so you can go back and hunt down specific ones in, in the future if you need to locate a specific recording. Um, 